So what's going on guys? So today we are here at Blazing Star RV Resort in San Antonio, Texas. We took some of our friends with us on a little RV excursion. This is a really beautiful resort. It's also a huge resort. There's probably a couple hundred spaces here and there are lots of these rentable cabins as well. So I don't think anybody's staying these specific ones right now. But man, this is just a really, really great resort. And it's in a hill country area of San Antonio, so it's not just gonna be flat ground like you might normally see where I'm at in Corpus Christi. The whole place feels like a big giant park, and there's these tall trees all around the RVs. A lot of class A's here. Nice thing is the bugs are kinda gone too. We're staying at spot 114, which has this really nice park area next to it. So today's video is gonna be completely different than most of my truck and RV related videos. And this video is really tailored more towards the younger audience that watch my channel, especially if you are in high school or you're just out of high school, maybe you're in college and you're trying to figure out what your next step is. I had a subscriber that recently sent me a message on Facebook and asked me for some advice that he could follow to help achieve maybe some of the goals in his life to make him successful because after watching my channel, he felt that I was rich or that I was a successful person. You know, after thinking about how to answer that question, I came up with a few principles that I think if most people follow, it'll help them. And again, I can't answer this for everybody because everybody's situation is different. I think there are a lot of viewers that watch my channel who are in really good financial condition. They've accumulated wealth. They don't have to worry about bills and things and they've had their own journey to get there they've figured out what they needed to do but for those people who are lost I have a few points that I think will come across in a non luxury way that will definitely I think get you on the right track at least the first one is to be better at something in a positive way and what I mean by that is if you go to work every day let's say that you work at Burger King and you just like all the other people around you show up to work just to do a job to get a paycheck to go home well, if you are the guy working at the counter, if you are the one dealing with customers, if you're the one that deals with other employees, and you can do your job in a way that makes other people happy, that makes them say, man, what is up with that person? They are doing such a great job. If you make customers feel happy that they met you, then you're definitely on the right path to success because that's the type of people that will be recruited. That's the type of person that business owners wanna see and take away and say, you know what, that's somebody I want working for me. That is probably the single biggest thing you can start doing is to make yourself a person that other people wanna be around. Make the change in your presentation, how you talk to people, how you interact with people at work that make other people look at you and go, that's somebody that I wanna be around. Having that type of social skill will definitely help you in life and help you excel. Now, there are certain jobs that it doesn't matter what personality you have. If you're a top-notch surgeon, it doesn't matter how dry you are, how rude you are. For the most part, you're always gonna be employable. That's the same for most engineers. That's the same for a lot of people in different careers. But for those of you who are struggling with where you're at today and you wanna see how you can improve your life, have a better attitude, have a better attitude towards other people, and try to get other people to like you, and that's really gonna help you in life. Now my second pointer is a big one as well, and it's to stop making excuses. So many people make excuses for the situation they're in, and they use that excuse as a means to never get out of that situation. If you always make excuses, well you're always gonna give yourself a reason never to do anything better in life. You have to look at whatever excuses you have and find a way to navigate around them. An excuse is like a road under construction. All you have to do is find a detour around that construction to get where you're going. Most people find that that road that's under construction as a roadblock that they can't get around. And because of that, they stop themselves from doing the things that they know they can do to get where they're going. Now, I'm not saying that you can climb Mount Everest. I'm not saying every single person's gonna go to space or every single person's gonna win a Nobel Prize. What I'm saying is, is that in your life, you have some hurdle. And typically, the number one reason why you can't get around that hurdle is laziness. It's the fact that you come up with excuses. Those excuses prevent you from using time that you know you have available to accomplish something. And all of a sudden, that excuse turns into a roadblock and it turns into something you're never gonna be able to do because you keep coming up with excuses as to why you can't do it and you believe those excuses. 
If you start knocking the excuses away, you'll realize there are a lot of detours to get you to where you want to be. All you have to do is look for them and not be lazy about getting to them. And then finally, and this is also a really big one, it's to stop thinking about how much money you need to save and think more about how much money you don't need to spend. So many folks put themselves in a situation where even if they start making more money, well, they spend more money. They get themselves a big raise and all of a sudden they think they need to spend more money on something that they didn't need before, but now that because they can afford it, they're gonna spend money on it and all of a sudden they don't have a raise anymore. They have more bills, they have more credit card debt. They're in an even worse position than they were in before they had the raise. What you should really do is figure out the things that are important in your life and have a way to get them that doesn't require you to constantly spend all the money you make on them. There's so many folks out there who put themselves in debt, who put themselves in serious financial risk, and even so many people that have this really nice facade of having wealth and having money, having a beautiful home, beautiful cars, all sorts of jewelry, all sorts of nice material things, and you have no idea that these people are living barely paycheck to paycheck. The rule of thumb kind of is the more money you make, the more money you spend. And that's okay to a degree, but you also have to understand that the number one way for you to be rich at the end of your days is to accumulate wealth, is to come up with a way to where you're receiving more money and that money that's coming in is greater than the money that's going out. So over a period of time, the money that you have saved up ends up getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's probably the single most important piece of feedback I can give you is to focus on trying to accumulate wealth by not spending money on things you don't need and maybe things that if you didn't have as much money you wouldn't buy. Now I'm going to wrap this up because I did not want to make this a super long lecture and again this isn't for everybody. There's so many people out there that watch my channel, that watch other channels that just are in a good position and they don't need this type of advice but I wanted to think of some advice that's different than what your dad might typically tell you or what your grandpa might typically tell you. I wanted to give you some advice that's truly achievable, something that you could go out and start doing as opposed to saying, hey, have huge goals and then go out and get them or don't let anybody tell you you can't do something because I think those are really easy statements to say, but they're incredibly hard statements to follow. I'd rather give you a few pointers that have worked for me and I think if you follow will at least get you kind of on the right path to where you need to be to start getting into a better place and that's all I'm trying to do. I wanted to answer that question and I felt it was worth making a short video about so I hope it wasn't boring to you. I hope it didn't come across as too luxury. If it did I apologize there will probably be another video right after this on a topic you'll hopefully like. Anyways guys I hope this has helped. If you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and we will talk to you again very soon.